Uh, good morning and welcome back. Uh, it is another very chilly morning. Uh, today we're out at Saltwick Bay. You might know, recognize that view over my shoulder. Uh, it's a very, very rough set of seas coming in at the minute. I wasn't expecting it to be so bad, nor was I expecting it to be so cold this morning. Uh, but uh, you never know. Saltwick Bay produces some beautiful hildoceruses and phyloceruses, uh, but the decks, the common things tend to be very difficult to split or and to prepare so we don't tend to pick too many of those up from here uh, but I'll show as much as I can uh, and see what we can find today and I'll be back with you when we're on the beach making our way over oh and we might find dinosaur footprints they're always potential here so we'll see uh, I'll be back with you soon always worth keeping an eye on the sandstone blocks I think this might just be a three-toed dinosaur footprint in a fairly chunky block uh, We'll have a look on the way back if that's carryable, but I don't think it is. And whilst not as convincing, I think that might also be a fairly big footprint uh, here with toe up to this end uh, and the other digits going that way. Uh, but this one is definitely not carryable. I <laughs> started the day with a, uh, a hell of a start. It's a nice looking little pseudo in there. Uh, counterpart, uh, the outer shell Looks like it might be broken as it goes around, uh, but I'm going to take both sides just in case. Uh, that's a heck of a start here. Uh, another nodule that I split, but this kind of shows off what I mean when I talk about fossils and decks in particular being very sticky from uh, Saltwick, is the matrix in a lot of places has a just enough separation that when you hit them open, uh, there's a nice clean separation between the fossil and the matrix but at Saltwick the matrix tends to stick really tightly to the fossils uh, and so when you hit them they tend to do this and split straight through the middle of them uh, so this is what a lot of the decks today we're going to split going to look like and that's okay but it's just to give you all uh, an explanation of why uh, we don't tend to take too many decks from here uh, so we just hit the nab about to head around the little headland there uh, and someone in Facebook recently proposed in front of this and described it as the Whitby Sphinx or the Saltwick Sphinx and I had never noticed it before but yeah I can see that uh, fun little rock outcrop with obviously head here and the nose and face walking across the next section of sandstone you can see all these black bits they might look a little bit like mineral discoloration but every single bit of black in these sandstone blocks is all plant material or organic material that's become carbonized uh, and basically turned to coal in places that it gets really compressed and really squeezed under high pressure it basically turns into uh, a high mineral version of it called jet and it's basically just really really compressed plant material a fun little game of spot the fossil it's not a particularly amazing one so it'll be some good eyesight to see it we have a look down here you can see the chambers of an ammonite just sticking there someone's hit this nodule uh, and it's exploded through but some nice little calcite chambers just saw the edge of this ammonite sticking out a bit of belemite on that side uh, it was in a bigger block so I've been tapping it and it knocked an edge off just to expose that's a hildy uh, so that won't get tapped anymore one loose little hildy uh, not convinced the middle is going to be there, but we'll have to just see when we get that back. Something a bit different. You can hopefully tell by these bumps on the edge here. This is not a deck. This is a Peronoceros. I think this edge is gone here. Hopefully the middle's there because there's another little one, which I think might actually just be a little deck on the edge. So nice little pairing. Cool. Uh, just tapping away at some more likely looking nodules. Uh, that one does have a DAC in it, but you might tell from that greeny, shiny outer layer is really pyritic, so I'm actually just going to leave that one. If anyone finds it, best of luck for you prepping it, because that's going to be a pain. Uh, but it could be a good one. Uh, game of spot the several fossils, all of which are not complete, sadly. So we've got a piece of what looks like Peronoceros with some nodes, a piece of DAC, and a very squished hildoceros. The squished hildy keel was just there. This one is not squished by the looks of it, so I'll go straight in the bag. 
I hope whoever saw that earlier, or if anyone did find that earlier, they managed to get that out. It's quite a nice size hill, do that. Just split this nodule because it looked a bit funny on the end. Uh, so I think that's a couple of bits of fish bone split in this nodule. A lot of effort to pop this nodule, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't open cleanly. And the answer seems to be, it had a copper light in it. So a nice fossil poo. Uh, it doesn't split very easily because it's all rounded uh, and phosphatic. Unfortunately that exploded mess right there was what I think was quite a big hildy, uh, but it's so badly preserved that when I hit it, it just kind of shattered into lots of pieces uh, and nothing easy to put back together. So that's going to just stay on the beach. And after my explodey one, I've got a not so explodey one. And that one looks to be pretty darn good. The end is gone here, but I'm hoping, uh, even though there's a bit missing in here, uh, the rest of that will be pretty, pretty nice. I am very happy with that. Uh, the rain's starting to come in, uh, so I think it might be turnaround point here. Usually we're trying to get around that headland in the background, but uh, as you can see, the tide is still a long way in, even though it's uh, supposed to be low tide, or near enough low tide. Uh, but obviously, the high seas just mean that we don't have as much time and as much flexibility to get around to the farthest reaches. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, I'm kind of not upset with what I've got in my bag, that big hildy <laughs> already made the trip to start with the pseudo. It's been a really good day actually. Uh, Katie's got a couple of nice pseudos um, and some bits and pieces so we will keep looking and then start wandering back. I asked Katie if I could borrow her uh, one of her nice pseudos uh, and this one looks to be quite a beauty actually. Uh, the very top end might be a little broken up but I think it should all be there. Uh, so that's one of the pseudo lyocerus. Uh, light tents most likely from uh, this area but could be quite a beauty she's got the other side of it down there so that will be taped back together uh, and sent off to prep I have no doubts not sure if it is but it does kind of have the dinosaur track three toes that way from the, the extended heel uh, that again is also massive compared to my foot so even if it is it's staying there if it isn't it's also staying there uh, I got another pseudo here, uh, split badly, but I think it should go back together all right. Uh, that's what we'll do, stick the two bits back, uh, and we'll be good to go. But why it's split that way, I, I don't know, it's the, the narrow part of the nodule. Just one more deck for the bag, that one's probably worth taking. Just about to hit the beach and get up as the weather gets worse and worse as you probably hear with the wind getting louder and louder. Uh, so just about done and this will be a final hunt for 2023. But I'll probably wrap up in the car where it might be quieter and less windy. So now off the beach, a bit soggy and uh, trying to warm up quickly, but at least this way you won't have all the wind in the background. Uh, this was the final hunt for me for 2023. By the time the video comes out, it'll be 2024. So I hope everyone has started their new year well. Been a fantastic year and uh, a pretty good hunt to finish it off that hildy looks to be something pretty special for me uh, so I'm quite excited to see that one prepped um, I'm just about to catch up with some of the fossil prep guys both Mark Smith from um, Yorkshire Fossils and also uh, Marcus Cliff who does uh, the fossil prep for the fossil shop in Whitby and a lot of my stuff as well so I'm going to get uh, hopefully some new fossils to be able to show off and also drop some of these fossils that I've got sitting around after these guys to get done so there'll be a lot more things of the before and afters to look forward to uh, coming up in the new year as well uh, thanks everyone for watching as always and uh, make sure you like uh, the video and subscribe to the channel to catch the next ones i'll see you soon